Here on the shelf, I have a new copy of the expansion Blood Money for the game Western Legends, and I'm so excited to find out what's inside. So let's get it over to the table and open it up. So here we are at the table. This is the Blood Money expansion for the game Western Legends by Colossal Games, and it is the second last expansion for the game Western Legends. But let's flip it over and take a look at the back of it. So here we have the back and we can see that it contains 40 gold cards, 40 legendary story cards, 36 item cards, which is 6 copies of each of the unique 6 item cards, 26 store randomizer cards, 20 injury cards, 17 deed cards and deed tokens, 12 legendary item cards, 12 ruin tokens, 10 character cards, 9 trader movement cards, 6 alternative poker cards, 2 copies of 3 poker cards, 6 bullet shaped player markers, 1 per player color, 6 player aids, 6 scoring cubes, 1 per player, 6 story disc, 1 per player, 5 location tokens, 3 map tokens, 1 leg legendary item deck blocker card, 1 risk die, 1 rule book with game modes, 1 storyboard overlay, 1 traveling trader stand, and 1 traveling trader miniature. But uh, let's get it open and take a look inside. So here we go, let's get this opened and take a look. So first off we have this overlay here which just state all the components that we already saw. And this is probably also the rule book, yes it is. So if we look inside here it shows how to set up the board and the new additional setup uh, things that we need to do before we can start. And how it should look when we are done setting up new concepts based on the components that we get here, how the new components work and new game modes that we can play with this expansion. As always, pretty simple rulebook, nice illustrations. And I hope that they've done a better job here because the original rulebook for the core game was a bit hard to read and understand. Next up, we have some reference sheet. We have seen this a lot also in the core game that you get these really nice player aids. And these seems to be updated with all the new stuff that you can do for the expansion and still containing the original rules, so that is a nice addition. Then we have a new stand, just like if you know the core games, you have the general store and in the expansion and the up, you got the um, trading post and this time we have the traveling trader. Next up we have a new storyboard here, uh, it seems to be. We have some additional men in black tokens, I don't know what these tokens are here map tokens probably. We have some new deed tokens I can see here and new bandit camp tokens, some new prospecting tokens. Then we have all the components. So we have some plastic bags to contain everything in. And then we have this new risk die. SP, some blood drops, another SP, SP and a blood drop. We have this traveling trader miniature here, very nice, rolling emporium. Then we have the new player, so we have one bullet token, one cube and one story disc for each of the six colors of the core game. And then we have the new cards, so I can see here we have some new deed cards here. So this is Red Falls Doctor's Office, which is actually a location on the map. Um, let's, let's take a look and see if all of them is no locations and if we have other cards in here. So this was the doctor, this is the buzzard Gulls trading post. Okay, so all of these are locations that already exist in the game. So this says action, flip this to move to the Red Falls doctor office and lose all wounds. So it actually allows you to use your deed, apparently, to get some different bonuses. So we have a lot of deeds for different locations in the game. Then we have some injury, injury cards here. Like your hand size reduced by one injured hand. End of game you get minus one legendary point. A lot of those. We have some new random setup deck. Okay, so we have like repeating shotgun weapon, boot knife, a barrel mount, a lot of these as well. And then we have the traveling trader deck, which seems to be which location he sets up in. Next up we have the new characters. Sorry for the whole auto focusing, that's because I show you the cards. So first off we have some new poker cards that you use to find out different actions in the game. And this is probably because 
these works together with traveling, uh, the traveling trader and some of the other new stuff in the game. And here we have the new characters. So we have a 10 new characters here with their own unique abilities. Like here, deeds cost $10 less to purchase. And once per turn, you may discard a poker card to use the action ability of one of your deeds. Very nice indeed. No pun intended. We have some more deeds here. So again, more deeds, two new deeds. We have some new weapons that you can buy. So here we have like the Sweetie. It seems to be a repeating shotgun. Yeah, and we have a new burrow as well. Then we have new legendary items. So all of these are new unique items. So we have here cattle brand, portrait, canteen, snakeskin boots. And then we have the gold cards for the 10 characters. So each of them should have four gold cards, which we can see here is all the gold cards. And then we have this set of extra big cards. So this is a different size, just if you're thinking about sleeving or something like that. These are not standard size. We can compare them here. So the standard card size is uh, either standard American uh, mini or standard card, which these are, but these are a whole lot higher. So these are, these seems to be story cards. Yeah, so these are story cards. These are probably the legendary story cards that we were stated on the back. That was everything inside the Blood Money expansion for the game Western Legends. I think that this game contains a lot of interesting new mechanics such as the deeds, the legendary story cards and the traveling trader. And I'm definitely looking forward to trying these out the next time we play the game. Especially the deeds that allow you to own locations and actually take actions associated with them, as well as the traveling trader that as far as I understand sells legendary items compared to the normal items that you find in the general store or the trading post from the Andy Up expansion. As always, if you have any comments, please write them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving us a like and subscribe to the channel. It is highly appreciated. But that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.